Hello everyone, my name is Alexey Arhipenko. In this video I continue talking about my new system Notes Typer, which converts text into music. And today I will talk more about the process stage. Ok, now let's take some recording. Click it and uh, select Start Converting to Music with Default Coefficients. You see that there are a lot of parameters and uh, all of them are divided into groups and uh, these are parameters that you have to set up or just uh, um, agree with default values uh, to process. Uh, uh, the first group is very simple, it's just selecting the MIDI instrument, you can select, uh, especially important thing is that you can select instrument with long notes or short notes for some uh, recordings it can be interesting to play with. Uh, the next section, the next group of parameters is n controlling the note length. Uh, so originally it is set to, to default to not change any note length and uh, uh, to convert key presses exactly to note length. Uh, the, others, the, the other mode that you can choose from is to set note length to random values between some uh, particular lengths in seconds or you can normalize and expand the note lengths to a different range for example if it was uh, 0 0.02 to 0 0.35 so you can uh, for example put 0 0.1 to, to 1 and uh, this will increase the length or for example you can press 0 0.35 and this will just increase the length of the lower uh, of, 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 of the shorter notes, okay, shorter key presses. <clears throat> the next setting that you can use is to limit pauses between the key up and key down and what this does effectively is just removes the pauses from the, your recording. For example, if you went to drink some tea and returned, then all this pause will uh, last not longer than one second if you put one second here like this okay the next thing is just, just multiplying the speed you can increase the speed by making it uh, more than one greater than one or you can decrease speed by putting it uh, lower than one <coughs> next interesting function is to move letters closer to center I will show it in my article how it works. By the way, you will find a lot of interesting explanations and uh, uh, demos, examples. Uh, so, if you need some additional information, you can find it here. It is accessible uh, on the main page using the notes type tutorial link. Uh, so, you can see that in this um, uh, mode or in using this algorithm, the the uh, letters are moved closer to center on the timeline and uh, effectively they will form a more clustered chord maybe a more clustered collection of notes uh, so if you if you put a value greater than one here then there will be uh, th then they will move closer to center if you put uh, uh, value less than one then they will be the words will be expanded but I do not recommend to use this expanding mode because they can begin to overlap and this can be a problem. <laughs> uh, the next thing is important if you increase the length of the key presses or just want to remove the overlapping between the key press between the nodes between the resulting nodes. Uh, by the way I showed the example in a previous um, Recording. Uh, this recording has some overlapping notes. So, if you want to remove, I will turn off the sound now. Uh, if you want to remove these overlappings, you just uh, what what you want to do is just to put some uh, micro milliseconds here, and you can see that these overlaps uh, have been uh, decreased to some value between 10, to some random value between 10 and 100 milliseconds. Uh, or you can press, or you can input, for example, something between 10 and 
1000 milliseconds and uh, at the end uh, the overlaps will become longer but some overlaps will be very short okay so <clears throat> this randomness here helps you to uh, prevent having or the same overlaps between all the nodes that are uh, that, that be became overlapping due to some processing like this for example like this and uh, uh, when you limit the overlappings then you will get the same sound of overlapping nodes for some VST instruments this can be important <coughs> the next group is controlling the volume and uh, controlling the volume is uh, is generally the same like controlling the length you can normalize and expand to some volume range uh, you just cannot uh, not change the volume because it is in some uh, other units not in the units of midi velocity which can be not greater than 120 second, uh, 27 and you just cannot put it greater by the way if I try then it will t uh, the system will tell me that uh, I can do this okay um, <clears throat> so one thing is just normalizing and expanding like with length and the second mode is uh, changing node volumes to random values like here okay I just never use this random values but for some people who like this random cast and so on okay, it can be very interesting for example you can use some uh, randomness in length and in uh, volume but uh, use some uh, determined or how to say deterministic algorithm for the pitch okay the next thing is increasing volume um, for upper case letters and uh, increasing length uh, this one works a little bit um, but not, not simple you you will find in the article how it works but generally uh, when you put it uh, when you when you make it greater than one then uh, the volume of the uppercase lattice will increase, but it will never uh, be greater than uh, 120 sounds. So you do not need to bother with it. I, I mean, you do not need to think about this. Okay, so... <clears throat> okay, the next thing is uh, increasing the length. So when you make this setting greater than 1, then uh, the length of uppercase lattice will increase. By the way, we can we can try try this i will increase both the volume and the length three times for example and you can see that long notes have become became longer by the way i can increase it more than three times for example 10 times to make it more prominent So this became very long, but this is still very short because it was very short originally. It's very short here. Okay, so this works very deterministic in nature. Uh, and uh, now we came to the most interesting part, I think. It is uh, converting the letters into some notes. So what notes to choose? What note pitch? Uh, but this is the most um, complex algorithm I think in the whole system and uh, uh, what this does is converts the alphanumeric characters and uh, all the other all, all the other characters like spaces special characters like punctuation enters uh, some signs uh, special keys like backspaces delete shift arrows and so on can be treated as alphanumeric if you put this if you select this treat as alphanumeric then they will be just uh, treated by the same algorithm but also you can choose some different algorithm like for example making silent all the spaces or uh, assigning some random pitches to each space uh, by the way you can just select the same pitch for the high end and then you will get the same pitch for all spaces and also there are some chromatic alterations and I will take about them later because they are the same like in the alphanumeric uh, characters algorithm and for all the types of non-alphanumeric characters you have the same choices 
Uh, but for special keys, you have one more additional choice for keys that were removed with backspaces. So you can uh, do nothing, just leave them alone if you want to, if, one, if you want them to sound, if you want your mistakes and your backspaces to sound, or you can make them silent. And then I recommend that you put this, that you select uh, this also to make silent backspaces. And uh, the other, the other way is to cut out uh, these letters with back backspaces so that just uh, no one even notices <coughs> that there were some mistakes in your typing. This is very interesting algorithm. And it was suggested first uh, by my brother Sergey uh, Sergey Archipenko. Okay, next, let's talk about this. Okay, I think this is the most interesting thing. Uh, when you want to convert some letters into notes, I think two ways you can do it is to assign some note to each letter and do not change this assignment during the piece. For example, letter A with o will always be, for example, note C. Okay, And the second way is to change uh, change notes that I assign to letters. So in my in my system there are two uh, modes that assign notes to letters and do not change them during the piece. And uh, three modes that uh, do not even process letters. But sometimes for some some uh, parts of these algorithms are, are connected with letters. But we'll talk about this later. So the first thing that you can do, and uh, this order of all these parameters inside the groups are not is not just uh, random. It is um, uh, the order is the same like the, uh, the the order is the same as the processing inside the algorithm. And you see that the first thing that the algorithm makes, the algorithm does, is uh, creates the scale. And uh, currently, uh, the scale, chromatic scale, is selected. <clears throat> you can type any scale you want, and also you can select uh, the scale from uh, the list. If you cannot see the whole list, you can open it in a uh, separate window and uh, copy or just remember, for example, some Spanish uh, scale, one, three, and so on. And you can select this or just you can input your own scale like this. And each la each, uh, each digit is the interval be between the uh, node and, this, and the next node. So if I put one, 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 then there is uh, the interval of uh, half note, half tone between each uh, of notes of the scale. But if I do not, if I not put all 11 or 12 digits, then there will be not full scale. For example, if I do it like this, then you will see that the scale is not full and uh, only just, oh, <coughs> no, you see that some letters are some, some letters are used and some are not. I mean, some notes are used and some are not used. And uh, here are the notes that are used because I uh, specified one, two, three, four, five uh, digits. And uh, these notes are used in each octave that is allowed. And uh, octaves that are allowed are specified here. Then you can transpose it to some uh, note, for example, to D, and uh, now you can see that the first note of this one, two, three, four, five, six notes combination is D. <coughs> so this way you can uh, you can use a lot of scales and uh, working scales. Okay, after you have specified the scale, the next thing is choose the mode. Of processing and all these modes use scales and after you have processed for example like for example using this uh, the most simple mode random and scale which uh, just um, uh, makes uh, random numbers for each node and 
assigns uh, each each key to absolutely random node every time it says every key. So there is no assignment to a key. Uh, then the next thing that you can do, you can do, for example, I I will change uh, I will change scale to this so you can see the difference. By the way, <coughs> now you can see that there are always two half tones. There are there are always whole tones between the notes. Okay, um, starting with D, one, two, three, four. So we have three intervals. And that is why, oh, we have four intervals, by the way. This is, this is, this is interesting. One. Okay, I think random numbers do not just allow us to see all the nodes sometimes. But there are one, two, three, four. By the way, they're, in, they're on black keys because it is hot on scale. <clears throat> and then this. Okay, so there is almost whole hold on scale, but C node is not used because I specified only four intervals, and the hold on scale uses five intervals, as you can see. Okay, now um, after all, after you do all this, uh, specify scale, then process it inside the scale. Uh, the next thing you can do is to put some letters out of scale and uh, you can put uh, the most the, the least frequent letters for example 50 percent of letters uh, let me change the scale to major major diatonic so that we can work uh, directly inside the um, white keys And now you can see that at the bottom of the page there is uh, th 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 there is an array of all keys uh, sorted by frequency. So the most frequent keys are T O L E U in 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 this text, okay? And the least frequent are these. And you can see that the least frequent keys are now okay. Let's make it one hundred. The least frequent keys are now all on the black keys because they were pushed out of the scale and uh, all these less frequent keys are H, Q, F, A, P, W, Y, G and you will find that all of them absolutely all of these keys are pushed out, out of the scale so what this can do for example is just uh, create a diatonic filling and uh, dilute this with some chromatic notes okay so this is the purpose and uh, of course you can put just a part of these keys and random part of all these keys will put will be put outside this outside of the scale and some will not be put outside of the scale for example let's find some least frequent keys that are not put outside of the scale h q f a p w any any one of them HQ oh sorry I did it a little bit wrong so this 50% makes only the 50% uh, of list frequent keys uh, appear on the black keys and when I put it 100% of course all the keys will be on the black keys uh, so so not not just some random keys okay if you put it 20% that only H, Q, F, I think, and A will be in the scale. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go on. The next thing is uh, adding random chromatic, um, well, be, maybe neighboring tones or introductions there. Uh, then some chromatic escapes and chromatic alteration. Uh, this is generally very simple, and what it does is just. Uh, <clears throat> What this appoggiatura or introduction does is just uh, like this, just creates an uh, <clears throat> a note that is 
half tone higher or lower than the next note. And uh, you see that this is an example of this process, this is an example of this process, and so on. So 50% randomly of these notes have been converted into a random chromatic arpeggiato. If I put it 100%, then all possible <coughs> uh, pairs will be created. So this is a pair, this is a pair, and so on. Okay, then uh, talking about escape tones, this is the same, but uh, the escape tone is created one half tone above or below the previous note. So this is an escape tone. This is an escape tone that you can see. Okay. Now, the alteration is most simple one. So what it does is just alters each key. And uh, for example, how you can find out that the alteration is working, you can uh, create diatonic scale, uh, disable alteration, you will see that all keys are on blue, on white keys, all, all notes are on white keys, then you uh, put, for example, chromatic alteration 100%, and you will find out that notes, the notes are on black keys. And most of interesting thing is that you will find out that all notes are on black keys, because in diatonic scale, every white note has a neighboring black note, so you always have somewhere to uh, somewhere to move. But if you, for example, take a pentatonic scale, let me choose some pentatonic. Okay. Uh, then in pentatonic, you will find that some keys. Um, a steel or oh, major pentatonic. I don't like it. Let's, for example, take minor pentatonic. Okay, let, let's work with major pentatonic. And uh, what you will see is that some keys uh, will be pushed. Um, at, uh, of course, every, every key can be pushed out of scale here. No, it is not an example. The right example will be to use chromatic scale or some scale that has several half half tones successfully. So if you have several half tones successfully and you just uh, uh, have a note that has half tone below a scale step and half tone above a scale step, then it just cannot escape the scale. It just cannot escape the scale moving half tone because half tone below and half tone above is also scale step. And in this uh, case, this tone will not escape the scale. So this is the only thing that you just need to know about it. Okay, uh, so, so as you can see, you can use all these uh, chromatic alterations in uh, uh, all the types of characters. And uh, uh, for example, you just can uh, uh, disable this uh, uh, choose, for example, some diatonic scale, major diatonic, and uh, enable spaces, sending them to this algorithm. And then what I will do is, uh, for example, I will add 100% chromatic apogator. So what this does is uh, cre it, it will create uh, chromatic introductions or chromatic uh, neighboring notes or chromatic apogator notes uh, from all the spaces. And you will see that all the spaces will, uh, be, will, will, will be uh, one half tone below or above the next note, except for some spaces that uh, go before some special keys. For example, like this key. So this note will not become um, an appoggiatura because it is followed by a shift key and shift key does not have a note here. Okay. And that is why you usually need to have some key for the... Uh, I mean, you, you need some note for space and uh, here is this note in this particular layout. And uh, okay, let's talk about the layout now because I talked about layout. Uh, what is a layout is just a static mapping of the keys 
two nodes. Uh, so let's choose some very simple layout. Uh, the layout is chosen using the ID and you can also go to layout page and uh, find out what layouts we have. For example, a very uh, simple layout is just uh, having uh, consonants and vowels on two, on two different nodes uh, and one node between them. But th these are nodes, nodes, especially these are scale steps. So when you just put this layout on the scale, then this will be first scale step, this will be second scale step, and then third scale step. So the first scale step will be all consonants, and the third scale steps will, will be uh, all the vowels. And uh, we can try this layout, for example, choosing it from here, or just typing its ID that you can find, um, and uh, consonants, vowels. I will disable everything else, like this. And you will see that all the constants will be on the first scale step. And as we're using diatonic scale, the third scale step is here. Okay. Okay, now you can create your own layouts without a problem just uh, typing inside the uh, keys the keys are shown on the right you just can type these names or uh, just uh, letters using um, uh, using space between them and then you can check you need to use some name uh, if you have some errors, for example, if you repeat the same uh, key in some notes, you will have errors here and so on. Okay, you will you will be able to save this, so just uh, take some um, layout and just edit this and also to save a new name. Uh, but uh, the interesting thing is that you have to... Oops. Uh, by the way, this, this is old version, but you, you usually have to specify a new name. Okay, so there are a lot of interesting layouts, for example, like using uh, only vowels, and this creates the sound like a, a man talking the, the, the text that you have typed, because usually man uh, um, just uh, pronounces only vowels. Then, <clears throat> there, there are layouts for different languages here. Um, there is an interesting layout when where you have the most uh, lowest keys uh, in the center of the keyboard and the highest keys on the uh, um, borders of the keyboard just for some experimentation now, okay then you have layout with most frequent keys I mean most frequent letters uh, in the center of the pitch range. So you will have a melody which moves somewhere in, in the middle of the pitch range and sometimes some less frequent keys will be moved, uh, will, will, will move melody very high or very low. And the thing that you need to remember about these frequency uh, layouts is that they use global frequency. So this frequency comes from the, some um, um, studies, public studies, okay. Um, the next interesting layout is just all the keys in one note, or maybe someone will need this. Um, okay, you will, you will find many different layouts. Uh, two layouts that I want to talk about also is the virtual piano. Uh, the virtual piano is, uh, uh, this layout. When recording you can choose this icon and then you will see a virtual keyboard here. So you can uh, just you can uh, press this uh, keys and uh, also you can type and you will and you will hear the sound. Sorry for loud sounds. Okay, uh, so, and uh, you, you, you see 
um, lay out the first octave here, the second octave here, and the third octave here, the second octave repeats. So this is the layout for a musician, so maybe for some experimenting, you can apply this layout, of course, to any recording. Uh, and the next very interesting layout uh, that was created not long ago is, uh, it uses most frequent keys on the major triad. So you can see that uh, the most frequent keys if we just take bass, and the most frequent keys in English is E T A O I N S H. So in this layout, you will see that E is on C, T is on G, H is on A. Sorry, E T A. So E T A, and they form a major triad C E G. Okay. Uh, then uh, they go E D A O I N S. So O is E, I is G, and is C. So you can see that this layout moves from center and uh, fills all the major chord notes, okay, from center. And after it has, no, after, after all these keys are filled with uh, notes, then it begins to move from center and then fills pentatonic notes. So pentatonic notes, uh, major pentatonic notes to this uh, uh, tonality, uh, Additional notes are A and D. So um, these notes will be filled, this, this, and so on. So these notes will be filled, and after it finished filling pentatonic, then it begins to fill diatonic from center, and uh, this adds H and F notes. And after it has filled, all the diatonic notes, it begins to fill the chromatic notes. And you can see that chromatic notes, especially the notes that are uh, at the edges, are the most, uh, the least, I mean, the least frequent notes in English, okay, language. So, uh, what, I'm, what, what I'm, is important here is uh, that the most frequent notes lie on the most consonant uh, intervals. And this gives music uh, very diatonic or pentatonic or even sometimes uh, arpeggiated um, feeling. And uh, sometimes less frequent notes, less frequent keys come in and add some chromatic. So this, this makes music to live. Okay. So this was about the layouts. And... Um, in the layouts, you can uh, uh, you can select any layout, and it will be the same mapping for all the recordings that you that you will be processing. Uh, the next mode is very close to this. It also maps keys to notes, but the important difference is that it maps different keys to different notes for different recordings uh, because it uses some special rules for this. For example, the most simple rule is most frequent keys in bass. So what it does is puts, it just has 18 uh, unique keys in this recording and it will fill 18 uh, steps of the scale. And for this scale, it will be just adding half steps, adding half tones, okay. Um, so you see that there uh, is exactly 18 uh, steps are used and uh, the most frequent steps are on the bottom because T letter is the most frequent here and you can see it from the uh, frequency array uh, and uh, then it goes up. What, what is important here is just 
that for this uh, computation, not public results, not public um, studies are used, but uh, your text is being analyzed and uh, uh, your uh, and frequency of all letters and all keys in your text are being found. And if you, for example, add space, then uh, the algorithm will find the uh, frequency of spaces. And in this case, space is more frequent than letter T. And you will find here. So it will add to the um, to the array and uh, you can add some punctuation and then punctuation will be added. And in this case, uh, this is only a dot. I think I even didn't use some enters. Uh, although I thought I used enter. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay, the next thing what can, you can do is select different rules here. Most frequent keys in base, most frequent keys in treble, uh, least frequent keys in center, and uh, uh, so on. All these create different interesting patterns. Uh, for example, uh, uh, these are... Okay. Well, I think I think you you will find this article. You will just uh, you will find all the information in the article. I will not uh, I will not talk about this much. Uh, I think I'll better talk about the next um, part of the algorithm. This is the frequent from center magic pet, pentatonic diatonic chromatic. This is the algorithm that I was talking previously, but the layout where first you fill the um, steps of, of major scale, then pentatonic, diatonic, and chromatic. And the same thing can be done dynamically. So you will find, uh, the algorithm will find most frequent keys and then distribute them using this algorithm. Uh, but uh, the more interesting thing is, I think, this minimize, maximize, and avoiding algorithms. Uh, what is interesting about this is that these algorithms uh, try to uh, try to change the layout, try to change layout uh, the way that will approach the goal. The, and the goal in this uh, particular case is minimizing the intervals between the adjacent nodes. And in this case, uh, the algorithm minimizes the intervals. And when listening to this, you will find out that uh, mel that it sounds very melodic. It sounds very melodic because the notes are very close to each other. And if you, for example, maximize the intervals, then it will sound very jumpy because the inter because the algorithm has done everything to separate. The nodes to maximize the interval between the adjacent nodes. Okay. The next thing is avoiding the triton and savas, so avoiding all the discords, and this will sound very con consonant. Although not very melodic, but very consonant. And uh, the when when using chromatic scale, of course, if you use some diatonic scale, then uh, uh, it will be uh, consonant even if you not optimize it. And also there are some uh, other rules avoiding perfect uh, intervals, avoiding thirds, sixth, second, and also avoiding everything except discords. So this will um, make music very discordant and uh, so on. So how this works is uh, um, iterative optimization of the layout and uh, checking the whole text for the intervals. And this is a, a very process, um, hard processing algorithm and uh, it can take some time for processing long text. And uh, for example, if you were typing 15 minutes, it can take, I think, about 15 seconds to process. So if you 
uh, worked for an hour then it can take about a minute to process so you need to wait or maybe to divide uh, to, to separate um, text into several recordings if you want uh, by the way you can uh, create separate recordings with different parameters and uh, then uh, uh, just join them in your digital audio workstation uh, I have already talked about this random and scale it is very simple and the next interesting algorithm is random chain uh, what it does is creates an, a chain of nodes and each next node will be uh, one or two half tones higher lower uh, than the previous note, depending on how much uh, how much length you allow to each step. It is the parameter number one, max step. And uh, here is the result of working of this uh, algorithm. Of so you can see that some um, some movements are two half tones, two semitones, and uh, one um, and, so, and some movements are one semitone. Um, okay, then this algorithm can sometimes jump or leap between the nodes, and the length of leap is also controlled with a parameter. Uh, in this case, it is 10 scale steps, and in this case, it is 5 scale, tips, scale steps up or down. And uh, you can leap, for example, each uh, once for each 10 nodes and it will be 10% or once for each 5 nodes it will be 20% uh, or you can leap after a pause for example if there is a pause between nodes between keys, uh, key uh, presses uh, at least for example 0 0.3 seconds and also you can leap on first letter in each word or leap on uh, each uppercase letter and then what you can change here is that you can leap not randomly but you can leap to a layout letter so what this does is this uses the layout that is chosen here for example if you choose uh, all keys layout then each letter with and each key will have its own node and this is the result of this algorithm working and you can see that leaps here is the smooth movement and here is the leap to the next word here the text is here s to the crazy so there is the text here's to the crazy and it has the word here the word s because it is separated with punctuation to and the word there and the word crazy and between each of these uh, words there is a leap although sometimes a leap can be short um, and you can see that here is the leap to letter S and here is the leap to letter T and S and T letters are not just uh, they, they do not get random leaps they get leaping to the note that is mapped to this key and you can see that all the words that begin with T always leap to the same letter but if the letter T is inside the word then you will get it on the other note and this is important so the same with key S for example as you see uh, here is always S uh, on this note C sharp when there is the beginning of letter. okay so this is important and uh, here are some uh, uh, random leaps inside words that were created with 10% probability as I was talking previously so this algorithm can create very melodic results uh, and you can play with this uh, the example of this algorithm can be for example uh, you can find chain and uh, here is an example of this algorithm
a leap. Okay. By the way, we can open this exact processing, uh, although I didn't save the exact MIDI, maybe, but uh, here you can see. Ah, this is not an exact processing, of course. Yes, this is, the, this is very random. Okay. Uh, by the way, talking about the exact random versions, uh, of course, when you process some mm, track with some random algorithm that involves some random numbers, generators, uh, of course, there is always a new result. And this is very interesting and good. But if you want to save the same uh, processing result and maybe show it to your friend, uh, you not only need to copy this link, because this link will bring you to the page where a new version will be created. But you can go to this link or just copy this link and this will always bring you to the same and absolutely the same result. Because uh, in this case, the algorithm is being seed with the same random seed. Okay. And now talking about the series, talking about the series and these melodies. Uh, this functionality also has a separate interface and it allows you to input some melodies into the system. And you can see that you can input, for example, some uh, well-known melody, uh, like, for example, this one, and I will play this. So this is a very well-known melody and it will repeat infinitely without changes. And this is the most simple way to use a series. So you can select some, for example, this, um, uh, this same series and uh, turn it on. Um, uh, seems that something is wrong because I selected not chromatic scale. This is the problem. Uh, so this series was uh, was expanded by the scale. And if you use chromatic scale, then series is exact is exactly how it was previously. And you can hear that the rhythm has changed because the rhythm is taken from the recording, uh, but the uh, but but the melody, the notes are the same. Uh, so this was the simple, uh, this the most simple way. By the way, one thing that I didn't tell you is the random distribution and a very important difference uh, between the random distribution and random scale is that random distribution binds or maps keys to nodes for the whole uh, for, for the whole piece and it, uh, sh it it always will give you the same key on the same node and uh, random just random generation uh, this uh, green uh, uh, mode will always give you different nodes for the same keys and this is the main difference. Okay, returning to this series, what you can do is, for example, shift octaves. So what this will do, this will move melody between octaves and uh, it uses uh, a pretty complicated algorithm, uh, pretty complex and interesting and you will find it here, so what it does is uh, mm, tries to make shorter intervals, uh, sh shorter leaps between when moving um, between the octaves. So it is um, very interesting the working you, you will find it in the article. Okay, so 
Now, uh, the next thing you can do uh, is um, leap to the other place inside the layout. For example, if you will leap very often. Oh, when leaping move to left. No, no, this is this is not what I was talking about. I mean, leaping is here. So you can uh, leap on the other step of layout on the word start or repeat set step or skip set step. So this will work exactly as it. Um, Ah, by the way, we turned off spaces. Okay. Okay. Now, um, uh, now, now. Also, you can do something with uppercases. It's exactly the same choices. Uh, repeat set step skips uh, one step or leap to other step. Uh, and uh, when leaping, what is important, you can move to layout this is the same as leaping to layout when you create a random chain so in this case if you put 100 then all the leaps will be to layout let's try this so what this does um What this does is always leap, leaps to the same node when there is the same key. For example, here is the word out. It comes from the letter O, which has F sharp node. Off, on, um, off, and so on. So if the word begins with letter O, then the series will always begin from this node and this is an interesting uh, algorithm okay uh, then what you can do is add inversions for example 25 percent retrogrades and retro inversions uh, and uh, this will mix and the one thing to remember is uh, these modifications are only chosen when uh, you leap so when you leap you can choose a modification and also an interesting thing is that you can swap random elements inside the series. And then the series will be gradually uh, destroyed, really. So uh, here is an example. Uh, yes. So here was the initial series. Uh, then one pair of nodes was swapped. Then another pair of nodes was swapped another pair another pair and soon you will have some very strange but still repeating a uh, sequence of nodes and uh, also still uh, having all the nodes that were an initial series okay and of course you can create a random series uh, just by typing random here uh, so you can create for example a series of 12 nodes uh, containing 12 scale steps and uh, each scale steps each scale step only one time and in this case you will see something like this uh, here is the uh, series oh it leaps <laughs> yeah it can leap you see okay you can switch off so just to see the series and here is the series uh, what is interesting about this series is that it begins always begins from this node and always goes to this node and then this node and so on so it always repeats so the same series always repeats and after you refresh the page there is always a new series if you do not fix it with exact random version uh, the other way to use it is you can create a series of 24 nodes and repeat each node two times. For example, like this. So, node repeated two times and then this series begins from 
uh, from the beginning. Um, and of course you can uh, use, for example, you can create series of 12 uh, nodes of 12 steps without limiting for repeats, without limiting of repeats. Uh, in this case, you just uh, can have, for example, one, two, three, four repeats, and then, uh, ah, by the way, one, two, three, four, ah, okay. I think, I, th I think there, there, here is the uh, um, return of the, here is the return of the uh, series, and here is another return of the series, yes. So the series is repeated. But inside the series, this is, the series is strange itself. So it has some repeating notes, and uh, these notes are repeated four times. And uh, there is no note A sharp, and so on. Okay, this was the uh, description of my new system, Notes Typer. I will be glad if you are interested. Uh, I will be glad if you find some interesting information, uh, or maybe you will find uh, you will you will decide how to develop this. You can uh, download it from uh, its sources from the SourceForge. Uh, here is the link, and uh, you can uh, um, develop it further or add some new functionality or integrate it with your system if you want. I will be glad. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, and uh, uh, I'm waiting for you in my future videos.